what happened uh, when the machine we don't delay for camp we decided for do the expansion you know beyond this 250 350 acres here i wrote a proposal to the sl accelerator and uh, fortunately you know the proposal was positively received uh, they gave a first tranche of 481 thousand uh, leons new leons now of 481 million you know uh, part of which we use I mean, to do the expansion of Bandajuma volume uh, then also I took a loan from the Apex Bank about 600 million of course these are all small amount I mean when you compare to what it would be me but thank God uh, they all contributed I mean, to uh, the, the establishment of the new farm. So, uh, once we don't do the establishment, then the machine come. The machine arrived here last year, uh, April, 2021, April. And then uh, we brought uh, them immediately to Lalihun here. Unfortunately, I was constrained for resources, so we will not be getting money for installer immediately. We park Ayanda uh, right in front of that house where I show you. Mm -hmm. So it, it was parked there, I mean, for almost another one year until I uh, tried to raise money. But then uh, also the other challenge would be get. We needed, I mean, heat transfer oil. We're not in a saloon. We don't be no bother until we we don't can our one for do the installation. So all of that affected I mean, the, the production. So in October this year, we finally got I mean, engineers for can do the installation of the machine. They finished the installation, but then the sad part was now when we uh, trained the staff and we test run the machine, then we realized say two. One major uh, component, the fryer, because of the long parking I mean, in a very hazardous uh, condition, because we don't be able to put an inside house. We pack an outside, we just cover them with uh, tarpaulins. So, Bill, uh, maybe water, the rain will be the calm, it interfere with some of the components. So, we realized that they were faulted. So, because of that, since after October we did the installation, we have we the whole of November we've been back and forth for try and fix I mean those uh, fryers. But fortunately that is now done. Uh, the reinstallation of the fryers have been done. So we are resuming production effectively this month. Uh, the only challenge we have now, I mean at the harvesting of the cassava because as is, as you see the ground don't really dry. Uh, you know, so the only means we will harvest now, now, first we use the tractor, which uh, we will start, I mean, hopefully today or tomorrow. Sierra Leone, I mean, is still not a huge consumer of cassava and cassava product. So we're going to rely, I mean, on the sub-region for our marketing of our product. So fortunately, we signed, I mean, agreement with this food processing company last year. And they are very enthused, you know, to be an off-taker of our product. You know, so that's a partnership that we have signed. The biggest uh, challenge, I mean, we have, as it is now, we need resources, quite honestly. So for us to be able to do that, we they solicit, I mean, partnership. Because this is a company, we're not saying, I mean, come in and just uh, be friend. This is business. The good thing is, unlike I mean, other businesses, we have already the raw material. Uh, call it, we have over 1,350 uh, acres cassava now that is almost ready I mean, to supply uh, the raw material to the factory. So we are not going to be dependent on you know, the supply of cassava uh, from other uh, farmers, which could have been challenging. So we have the farm. Uh, 
again, I mentioned yesterday about the the cassava uh, compact revolution. We, you know, we had researched, and now we we there about you know imp uh, putting into implementation. It is a novel idea, wherein uh, we are not going to depend on the static factory. We can go, we can traverse. I mean, this whole nation, wherever cassava is, we go, we process them using the mobile uh, technology facility and bring the powder at the factory for uh, frying into Gary. So a couple of advantages I mean this one get. It's going to cost drastically I mean, on transportation because farmers don't need to harvest their cassava to bring to our factory for low buy. Once you get a cassava farm, like now if you say get a cassava farm, you tell us you get the farm, the mobile processing uh, factory will move to wherever your farm is as long as it's motorable. We can go there, we process them. That's a one big advantage. So the cost of transportation would have cut down on you. The second big advantage that uh, technology get, it able to transform uh, the pills into animal feed. So one, what did that mean is, normally when you process cassava, you just leave the pill, it rot, it create pollution you know, not the environment. But because we know they left that cassava peel for waste or for rot the, not the environment, it, pre, it prevent pollution, that's not one thing. Secondly, it also put money in our MIE in pocket. So MIE, they get money from processing, I mean, the peel, so we will sell to uh, animal, produ uh, you know, production farmers there for letting them use them for feed their animals there. So that is also another big advantage, I mean, you know, the mobile processor get, which is a, you know, uh, a, a technology that we are in the process of uh, testing in Sierra Leone. And uh, we are looking, again, our hands are open, our doors are open, you know, to partnership so that we can support this uh, initiative that MIE has uh, researched with it. So the truck over there, basically, now, the new innovation we don't bring for processed cassava. Uh, as I've been the tell on today at the farm, uh, apart from the static factory here, we get all the components uh, from peeling to the end process of bagging the cassava, the gari. That one there, uh, they do similar thing. The advantage I mean, the cassava compact uh, revolution get we now the mobile processing technology. It move with the the greater, the presser, and then the high powered uh, water pump machine. It go anywhere cassava farm the, as long as a motorable. So once it get there, we are able to pump water from any source, and then we mobilize women because at the moment we they try to get uh, a small machine way inside the able peel like this one. So once we get that, we are able to peel, we grate, we uh, press, then we come with the uh, dried powder to the factory here, and then use the factory here, the, the fryers they under, for fry them into gari. Now, as I said today, there are a number of advantages where the compact revolution gets. One, we are, they, they give you the capability for let we process uh, cassava at the farm gate. What does that mean is that it reduce transportation cost on farmers harvesting their cassava and bring account to the factory here for let we buy them from there. We can go and buy them from there the farm and process and they and come with the process uh, 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 product. The, 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 and that means that the farmers then will save more money through the transportation where they, 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 they know they pay for bring cassava. The second advantage where the compact revolution get is that we are able for not only process the cassava, but the machine where we get, it get the uh, capability for process the cassava peels into animal feed. 
uh, way we can use for supply a metal those with uh, they do animal husbandry. Then another advantage. But then the most important one is if you watch here now, then peels they will do more than they put. If we're not able to uh, control them, and they become a, uh, you know, an environmental hazard. Because once this cassava peel, uh, what I don't touch them, and they rot. And if you come now uh, in a couple of days, you go find out, say, I mean, this whole environment will stink. So the compact revolution they, uh, prevent that from happening because there is no wastage. The pills are converted into animal feeds where would they also sell and make money. So then at the third advantage where they bring Amit to us, which is giving money, putting money into the coffers of the Mukwata Investment Enterprise. So these are, you know, very unique uh, things where this uh, innovation they bring. But most important also is the fact that Another limit us here because we can have them in this factory, but if we don't get cassava, the factory will be moribund. You're not going to do anything. But when we have the mobile processor, we can go up to the southern province, we can go to the north, wherever cassava is, we can go processor and bring them back now with factory, yeah, the powder, so that we will get, we will get the, uh, this factory in continuous operation. So, those are the advantages I mean, this innovation get. But uh, as I say, we're in the process of setting up uh, slowly. We have been able to acquire the truck. That truck there is, a, is, a, is over 500 million leons, or 500,000 now in the new leon, which we use I mean, to procure it. But now, then we have also bought the greater. Uh, I'm just in the process of paying for the, the, the hydraulic presses because we won't forget to. But then, we also would need I mean, the pillar, the mechanical pillar, uh, for let it go do that. And uh, in all of that, we need resources. And then even for let operationalize the process, we will need copper. So this is where we, as I said earlier on, we are looking for partnership, you know, so that uh, we will able to share the cost of this innovation, which is very unique in Sierra Leone, and it is the first ever mobile processing uh, technology for cassava that we are instituting in this country.